Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is React JS full tutorial series. Today's episode, we are going to learn how to install React JS from scratch for absolute beginners. This is the part two of the series. Make sure you're following up the entire tutorial series so that you can learn and master React with me, Sridhar. All right, like I said, the first uh, tutorial was about the introduction Today we will learn how to install React.js on your machine. During the course of this tutorial, I want you to practice with me and do hands-on, which means if you run into any issues, let me know in the comment section and I will try and help you as much as I can. All right, so there are some prerequisites for installing React on your machine. You will need to have Node version more than 8.10. Right now, the current version of Node is 14.19, which means it's way too ahead and I'm sure that most of your applications should have Node which is more than 8.10. Also, you need to have NPM installed on your machine which is more than 5.6. Also make sure that you don't have any previous instances of React which you would have installed using NPM. If you are, if you are if you already tried installing React using NPM like NPM install React, don't do that or maybe try and uninstall it because it causes issues. Finally, make sure that you have a port which is 3000 which is not occupied, all right, because it will lead to issues. All right, so that being said, let's go ahead with the next step. So how to install React? So we know that, you know, um, we can go each and everything we can install our, our on our own and it is little tedious. Like, for example, you can use Webpack, Babel and do all the work by your own. But for beginners, what I encourage always is start using the basic repo, which is create react app. Right. It has all the toolings. It does the same like installing Webpack, dependencies, everything, but under the hood which means you will not know what it is doing, which you should not know as a developer, right? Your focus should be on the application development and not on the dependency modules or resolving them or getting them. So that being said, the command that we will run to install React application in our local is npx create hyphen react hyphen app followed by my app. Now, now a lot of people think it's a spelling mistake. It is not spelling mistake. NPX from a node 8.10 onwards, there is a new package manager called NPX. We can use that to install all the our applications, right? So the command will run is NPX create react app. Let's go ahead and do all of these steps and get react JS installed in our application. All right. So let's get started with our hands on. So I have the brand new uh, folder. I don't have anything in it. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to type node hyphen V. A lot of you have also asked me how do I get this terminal in my editor. So the command is control plus back tick. Right. When you press this, you will get the new terminal here. Right. Alternatively, you can go to command in your folder level and get that also. All right. So this is so the first thing first always check node and npm versions in your machine okay that's number one so how do you do that so in my case it's 14.9 and npm hyphen v and you would get the npm version which is 6.14 right so make sure node version is more than 8.10 and npm version is greater than 5.6 right so in my system i see that so that's number one number two open open terminal now some people ask me should i use only this no you don't have to there is no open terminal anywhere you prefer right if you are learning with me use visual studio code and type and type and press the buttons control and back tick okay so that's the command uh, that's the buttons you will press on your on your keyboard 
control plus back tick it will show you the terminal okay so obviously this should be the first step um, because you have to find the node version right yeah my bad okay so once you have done that all right so i check flip the so first open the terminal and then run the command right which is node hyphen v and npm hyphen v it will give you the versions now that you have got it then we have to run the command npx create react app and followed by the name of your app right so you don't need to give this this is option so i'm just putting it so that you know it project name right so let's run this command npx create react app followed by the name of our app so i'm going to say arc tutorials right that's the name i am giving you can give any name you want enter now we need to wait for at least 5 to 10 minutes right so why because it since it's a first time it will take time okay first time it takes time right it takes time around 5 to 10 minutes uh, so have patience and if you want grab a cup of coffee right also uh, please do check out um, other videos and other playlist in my channel i'm sure you'll find them useful for your learning all right so cannot create cannot create project named because of npm naming restrictions okay you can name you can no longer contain capital letters so that's the thing so all right we cannot have capital letters so let's make it small case so let's list down here as well our learning right project name cannot have upper case letters it used to allow now it's not allowing it's just fine so now it will take some time it will do all the processing please do check out my other videos and playlist in the channel uh, there's a lot of stuff that i have covered i'm sure you'll find them useful so now you see it's installing react react dom react scripts everything don't worry what it is doing that's none of our job uh, we will learn about these modules and how they impact us so we will be interested in learning how to use them rather than what it's doing that's none of your business as a developer it's it, it makes it too complicated sometimes we should not be worrying about that all right so that being said uh, i will create a github uh, repo uh, for this particular project and series i will share that github link i will share the notes right i will share the code and uh notes to you that's the update um let's so let's wait for a couple of more minutes while it is doing in the comments please do let me know uh, while you're waiting you can let me know your comments about how you're finding it if there are any feedbacks to improve if there is any comments positive keep sharing that love i really enjoy reading your comments all right so look here it's creating the uh project so it created a package.json and it will update it uh, let it complete it will show all the packages everything that we need and we will also learn how to run the application all right um, we can also change the port right so we know that the port the default port is 3000 um, we can always customize it customize it because a lot of you if you are running some apps Uh, and if port is busy right if port 3000 is busy we can customize uh, the port <laughs> port as well we will 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 see all of that in the next uh, uh, episode when we do hello world and we'll start writing understanding the code it would be much much easier then all right it's still taking time it will take time It's like i said the first time so don't worry uh, let it happen let it take its time and since i do not do the edit uh, editing of the videos i just bring do live coding 
so I'll have to wait uh, till it is completed so please bear with me on that but the good thing is you can keep track here when you see it's loading the modules you can see here so that means it's doing something so don't worry uh, don't think that it's not doing anything it is doing its job but it's slow in the meanwhile I will let me also let you know that you know uh, my email address is surya.aradhya at gmail.com so please uh, please feel free to uh, send me if you have any doubts please send me any doubts queries you have I would be happy to answer them be happy to debug debug slash help you okay also while we are waiting let me also let you know that um, if you if you like this channel uh, like my teaching style teaching style and appreciate my time you can buy me coffee buy me a coffee at https buy me a coffee coffee.com slash arc tutorials that's the URL you can go there um, and you can buy me coffee which would help me keep bringing these lovely wonderful tutorials for you thank you in advance all right so we are halfway done I think we'll have to just wait for a couple of more minutes so usually other um, usually others doesn't take this time but I don't do the editing work so it's almost getting done so let's just give it a couple of more time I think it's done just in time yep all right it's just wrapping it around beautiful so it's almost done so installing template dependencies a couple of more minutes and we are done so we see our code already has our uh, we already have our application structure we have source we have our first application up and running already here so it's it's beautiful that it does everything on its own this is the best way you can start learning react because you don't have to break your head around installing and getting things up and running so see it is bringing testing library packages everything that you need it so once you're done just go to package.json we will see all of this in the next episode so don't worry uh, we will we will learn each and everything that is there what is happening in the scripts and how can you start beautiful so this is the message we are waiting for and we see it here it says everything done we suggest that you begin by typing cd into the to into the project name and then start npm start let's do that our application is installed now successfully it's initialized and the command that we are going to run now is cd project name right and then we are going to run the command npm start let's do that so cd arc tutorials and then say npm start I think I will have issue because one of my other application is using the port I believe let's see All right let's give it starting the development server and it has started and it's on local host 3000 still loading I think I have my code here let me just restart 
my application one more time and I'll just go to source and app.j it is still starting the server let me try it again because I just closed the port so I think now it should be good and a lot of things like hot reloading etc is all already built in into react so we don't have to do much part of it so you see it says starting the development server and it is already opening the browser for us so let's just give one more minute yep so now you see it is compiled successfully now you you can view the project in the browser in this right and you're ready so this is the first application that you're seeing of react if you see the screen pat on your back you're good to start you are seeing your react application right don't worry about any code today today is not the day if you see if you see the welcome message congrats step one complete or let me say mission one complete okay so this is the message that you want to see which says compile successfully you can see the output and you should see this output which is learn react okay once you see this you're all good we'll start from the next episode we'll learn each and everything in detail what each folder does what each file does you don't want to miss on that one thank you so much for joining stay tuned keep giving me your love as you have been giving me so far thank you so much and i will see you in the next episode we will talk about the kind of frameworks that we want to use like bootstrap testing using jest etc we'll, we'll come to that all of it um, it's beautiful framework it's a beautiful journey stay tuned i'll see you in the next episode we will start with our hello world application thank you see you in the next episode